Now, think lighthouses and you probably imagine towering beacons marking rocks and reefs in treacherous seas. But did you know that London is home to a lighthouse located deep within the Docklands? It was built not to warn shipping, but to create and develop lighting equipment. It's some years since it last shone, until now. Victoria Hollins explains. For more than 150 years, the Faraday Lighthouse has sat alongside the Thames at Trinity Boy Wharf. But high up in its lamp room, it's the sound, not the light, which is the attraction. This is the sound of Long Player, composed to mark the millennium. It's played on singing bowls, also housed in the lighthouse, and is due to play for a thousand years. But now, light is returning here as an art installation, Sonic Ray. We're now celebrating 21, coming of age of Long Player, with um, a beam of light. So it, it, it's sound travelling at the speed of light and then heard across the river. A laser in the top of the lighthouse carries the sound 800 metres across the Thames. Aboard a boat, also a piece of art, a receiver turns the light back into sound. Long Player has always been about time and light and time have got this inextricable connection. So, um, you know, discovering that there was a way to integrate, to transmit and project sound inside a, um, a beam of light was very exciting. This lighthouse was never used for navigation of the Thames. It was created to design and test lighthouse technology. Well, that sense of experimentation, very much alive and well today. The art installation has been delayed because of COVID, but its creator says the pandemic has made it more poignant. The pandemic encouraged us in many ways to think about the long term uh, and all of the long term issues and challenges that we have as a species. I'm thinking of climate change, of course, and Long Player is a paradigm for you know, a, a different way of thinking about life rather than a short term quick fix. The Sonic Ray experience opens this Thursday and when the beam of light ends, the music will continue. Victoria Hollins, BBC London. Who knew? OK, time for the weather.